one game, one win. The Enzo Maresca era at Leicester City got off to a great start at the weekend, but you get the feeling that that was just the start of what might be to come this season. But the work has only just begun, and you expect a different sort of challenge in store tonight as City kick off their Carabao Cup campaign. No room to slack off as far as the Foxes are concerned, because Burton will be bang up for this cup tight. Just 40 miles separates the two sides, but on the pitch, there's a whole division between them. The Foxes' firm favourites to win. Everyone here expectant that it will be round two for Leicester City. Well, let's go through the two starting lineups then, starting with today's hosts, Burton Albion. Four changes from their game at the weekend. They lost their League One opener 2-0 to Blackpool. A couple of mistakes, actually, from former Leicester man Sam Hughes, who drops out of the side. It's Jamal Blackman in goal, Brayford, Oshilaja and Sweeney as a back three. Caprice, Powell, Helm, Harper and Seddon across the middle with Cole Stockton and Bobby Kamwa up front. As for Leicester City, seven changes from that victory over Coventry on Sunday. In for his first start in the first team for Leicester City is goalkeeper Jakob Stolicic. James Justin is back. Great to see him in the starting 11 as well. Hamza Chowdhury is in. He'll play as a right back. Dennis Pratt came off the bench against Coventry and made an impact, assisting Kean in Dewsbury Hall for one of his two goals. Albrighton is in the side. So is Wanya Marcel Madavidua for his first ever first team start. And Kalechi Iannaccio will lead the line. So here's your Leicester side in full. Stolarczyk in goal. Justin and Chowdhury as left and right back, respectively. Doyle and Fass in the centre. And Didi, Winks and Pratt in the midfield with Marcel Madavidua and Albrighton either side of Kalechi Iannaccio. Well, tonight's referee is Gavin Ward, and we are almost ready to get underway as Leicester continue to keep themselves warm on what's been quite a warm afternoon, we have to say, here in Burton. The League One side have reasonable expectations for this season. They've made a number of new signings, and although they got off to a losing start in League One, at the weekend, they are very firmly focusing on a top 10 finish in that division. As for Leicester, it's top one, I think. That will be the aim, no doubt, for Enzo Maresca. And obviously a different type of atmosphere expected tonight, Matt Elliott, than what we saw on Sunday. Yeah, very much so. A different format. Different entity altogether, really. Uh, changing both sides. Uh, not wholesale from from Burton's point of view, just looking at Burton, not quite as uh, sort of physically imposing as they have been in the past. I'm sure they'll be quite aggressive in their approach, but uh, they're not full of giants even in, in the defensive department. So that'll be a, a slight sigh of relief from Leicester's point of view, who themselves um, have omitted a, a couple of the taller players. But uh, straight away, Leicester on the ball, popping the ball around, Burton looking to close. Well, Leicester be able to deal with it. Nice start from Ndidi. Yeah, rapid start from Leicester City. Ndidi in possession. A big switch from left to right. It's been collected by Albrighton. And now Pratt's in the box already for the Foxes, who are looking to hit Burton early with Ian Acho. And his header is just wide. In fact, it takes a deflection off of a Burton man. And it's already out for a Leicester City corner. We've not even played 30 seconds. No, nope. and that's the only touch that Burton have had. That defensive header there at full stretch. Great ball in from Albrighton, trademark of his. But excellent play from the very kickoff there. But oh. yeah, uh, interested Leicester on the on the counter now, if you like. Slick, one two touch play, bodies everywhere, good movement. Fizzed in towards Iannaccio from the right side, taken down well by Deji Oshilaja. But one back nicely by Leicester on that far side. They're shooting from right to left as we look. And here's Harry Winks, who's going to be the catalyst, really, that fulcrum in the heart of the pitch you feel this season for the Foxes. They're into the box again, dropped in towards the centre of the penalty area. And just like that, Kalechi Iannaccio gives Leicester City the lead. It's only taken six minutes. Four years ago, when these two sides last met in 2019, Kalechi Iannaccio broke the deadlock then. He's done it now and Leicester into a deserved early lead. Good finish from the Nigerian, and the Fox is in front. Yeah, good play all round, wasn't it? Good approach work. Um, the, the ball was lost in possession just um, very briefly, that then came back to a Leicester player. And then, as much as anything, slick play as it was, 
sort of weight of numbers. One of the senior statesmen in the squad, along with Jamie Vardy, who's on the bench tonight for the Foxes. Do have firepower amongst the subs. Pats and Dakers also on the bench as Marcel Madavadua closes down John Brayford and wins possession back for Leicester on the edge of the Burton box and he's got round another and he takes an effort and this time John Brayford is in the way and via his knee it's behind for a corner kick but that's good industry from young Wanya Marcel Madavadua. Yeah very purposeful there he's he's been away with the first team been in and around the squad now for you know, a little period of time and he looks like he's really eager to please you know commentary a, a decent exponent of that style of play put up a, a very uh, spirited performance up against Leicester and he was slightly disappointed not to get anything out of the game here's indeed a forward pass for Pratt who's going to get there ahead of the defender this is Dennis Pratt chops onto his left still going waits for reinforcements he's still going Dennis Pratt and now it's Wanya Marcel Madavadua on the edge of the box lofted towards all Brighton who does well to take it down out of the night sky here in Burton move still alive for Leicester dummied by Iheanacho but they've given it away and a chance for a counter for Burton Albion through Rakeem Harper he's played in Bobby Kamwa Chowdhury tracking back excellent stuff from Kamwa and players are falling over each other left right and center and Leicester get the benefit of the assistance flag and then the referee's whistle free kick to the Foxes good tussle that between Kamwa and Chowdhury but just an indication of how Leicester maybe could leave themselves open when they do put bodies forward and they have possession here with Josh Gordon out to that left side, into the box now, and this is good footwork, and a man's gone down in the box, in yellow for Burton Albion. Dino Marmrio wants a penalty, the referee unconvinced, no decision, and it will be a throw into Leicester on the far side. Well, he certainly bundled his way into the box, the Burton man, but yet, as he fell to the floor, no whistle came, and play continued. Was it Seddon, uh, left wing back, who was twisting and turning his way through Burton will have a, a set piece not making a deal of it he'll be back on before we know it yeah free kick to Burton Albion in a similar position to the one a few moments ago which was fizzed out to the left side by Powell this time it's taken short by Caprice and here's Cam where he waits for the overlap Caprice acts as the decoy and Marcel Madavadia has bought it he's able to deliver headed down and cleared away off the line and Fass is in there to put behind for a corner well, that is the closest Burton Albion have come. Leicester City had to get that one right, and they did so defensively. Yeah, first moment of genuine concern, I think. Um, from Leicester defensively there. Well worked with a set piece. You described it perfectly. Decent ball coming over com from Caprice's ever. And here's Powell again. This time it's Rakeem Harper inside his own half. Does well, just gets a yard away from... Dennis Pratt fizzed around the corner by Mark Helm and here's Caprice and Burton are growing in confidence as this first half wears on still it's Leicester 1 Burton 0 in the first round of the Carabao Cup thanks to Kalechi Iheanacho after just six minutes they've had more of the ball than their hosts tonight have Leicester City but they haven't had as many clear-cut chances as they would have liked and whilst the score does stay at just a solitary goal to nil Burton will feel that they can find a way through and they almost did there free kick taken quickly by Doyle and Iheanacho's in behind here and this is a good chance for Iheanacho to double his tally he cuts it back brilliant finish from Wilfred Ndidi well just like that Leicester City have pounced they caught Burton Albion on the back foot and an excellently executed finish by Wilfred Ndidi opens up his body and steers it into the top corner to make it 2-0 on the stroke of half-time. Leicester 2, Burton Albion 0. Well, what about that for a finish from Wilfred and Didi? The man of the first half, I think it's fair to say. All round, there's been some decent performances in general from Leicester. None better than that man who just slotted that away in the top right-hand corner of Burton's goal. As we look at it, we were right behind it. Great invention, great awareness initially by Iheanacho. Iheanacho it was who was fouled by Caprice initially. He even had time to, to bend down and sort of scrape Caprice up, holding his hand as he did so. But then was aware, saw the space that Caprice had left, who was slightly jaded from his efforts. Nice to have it with James Justin. 
And now all Brighton shouts of shoot from the away end. Those Foxes fans might get that wish as it comes into the penalty area and poured away from goal by Blackman, down by Winks, off the line, good defending, and Leicester City probing and pushing, the move still alive, here's Wanya Marcel, Madivadua, and now Ndidi, Winks again, and this time his effort strikes the roof of the stand, and draws ironic cheers from the Leicester following before a ripple of applause breaks out, but good stuff from Leicester again. Well, from the sublime to bordering on the ridiculous there from Harry Winks, well, what a strike the first effort was. Technically superb on the volley. He got his body position correct. And uh, again, we talked about Burton defenders sticking or twisting. It seems like the manager's not quite sure which way to go. Here's Chowdhury for Leicester City. Now Doyle into Burton's half. And Wanya Marcel, Madivadua, can attack the Burton penalty area. And he chops onto his left and hits an excellent effort. It's just behind, and it will be a goal kick, but it's his first ever Leicester City start tonight, and he's looked lively. Yeah, he has, uh, again, the uh, end product required a little bit more regularly. Thought that might be the moment. It must have been a little bit wider than we thought. Well, it does have an element of a pre-season feel to this game. I think that's probably down to Leicester's hard graft in the first 20-25 minutes as the ball's back now with Burton goalkeeper Jamal Blackman. He had a bit of a scare with his hamstring in the first half, but he seems to have got through that. Played now upfield and Chowdhury's lost out. Opportunity here for Gordon, who on the spin takes a shot on the edge of the 18-yard box. It came across to him. Chowdhury just caught in possession, and as it rolled across to Gordon, he fancied his chances on the half turn and in the end didn't test Stolicic but an effort nonetheless from Burton Albion. Yeah, it's just got to be slightly wary, haven't they? Careful. Yeah, Leicester, Leicester have had their mishaps, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, by and large, by and large, there haven't been multiple upsets, you know, despite quite so, you know, severe changes in the personnel. Leicester's squad in general has been you know, of, of a good quality is Ricardo bursting through the middle. Brilliant touch from Ricardo, and it's taken in his stride by Ian Acho on the hunt for his second of the night, but he runs into yellow shirts. Still alive here through Mark or Brighton, and he's just going to run out of room. Well, that was good stuff in the middle of the park to win the ball back. A couple of good touches from Ricardo, and Ian Acho found himself in a promising position again, but once more isn't able to turn one goal into two for the night. Yeah, you fancied him in that position, didn't you, there to you know, shake and shimmy his way through just to get half a yard, get the shot off. And because he was so central, you fancy him to finish. Yeah, Leicester yeah, not as comfortable right now as, as they would have liked to have been. Well, we're into the final minute of the minimum five added on, should it be five, Matt. So who would be your choice for tonight's Leicester City man of the match? OK, well, first half, first hour or so. Um, some good performances, but one outstanding figure, really. Back header from first there, collected by Stelagic. Um, it was a little bit heavy with the header. But dealt with, comes to enough eventually. Uh, Wilfred and Didi, all action performance. We talked about the change of role for him. The way he's uh, he adjusted on this evening's evidence was... Uh, was it, uh, bordering on incredible, really, because you know, it, not the type of play that Wilfred he's connected with you know he's a, he's a destroyer uh, he's a physical sort of defensive midfielder but he was good on the ball he was good awareness I thought he was excellent and like I say all action display topped off by a wonderful finish um, the second half sort of took its course didn't it without too much incident so standout figure by probably some distance for me Wilfred and Dealer Full time then here at Pirelli Stadium and it's job done for Leicester City into the hat for round two of the Carabao Cup. A good exercise against League One opponents, Burton Albion. Goals from Kalechi Iheanacho after just six minutes with a tidy finish and then an equally impressive finish from his Nigerian compatriot Wilfred Ndidi who arrowed it into the top corner to make it to right on the stroke of half time. Burton grew into the game and had a little flurry towards the end of the second period, but all in all, pretty comfortable for Leicester City. Full-time score in the Carabao Cup finishes Burton Albion nil, Leicester City 2.